You guys, we've almost let the apples get away from us, but I'm going to see if my husband can grab just a few so I can fix them with breakfast. Ooh. Just for you, baby. They go the best ones down here. I'm grab. just saying, them the best ones. That's so why they fail. They too heavy. This is a good one. That's a good one. That's one. I'm going to climb up the tree and go get them. Told you we had enough, babe. Which one? Oh, be careful, honey. I just heard a couple hit the baby. Oh, honey, honey, please don't put weight on the fence. I'm not. I'm not. You sure? I'm positive. Oh. Hey, I told you we had enough. I can't move my other hand. Baby, you put weight on the fence. Oh, you got it. I got it. You got it. I got it. <laughs> Thank you, honey. You're welcome. Anything. Anything for breakfast. I know. <laughs> so you read it to you. Now we have these for in the morning. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. It's breakfast time. Eggs with cheese and without cheese. It's pretty white grits. Cooked apples with cinnamon and just a little bit of caramel. And we have toast and bacon. When you guys saw me Puring the apples, I was making homemade applesauce for our grandbaby. Hey, back. I'm back, like your kids that got grown. Now they want to move back home. Talking about their networking. We gonna work together, parents, and I'm gonna stay here for a while. That's all right for the children to be boomerang kids. That's all right. Come, Come on back. back. Come on back. I, I, I love you. Come on back. Bring the grandkids with you. That's right. How everybody doing, y'all? It's Saturday. Hey, what time is it? We like real late today. Yeah, we like real, real late. What time right? is it? Look at the microwave. It's the same time on the East Coast. What time is it? It's almost three o'clock. Mm -hmm. It's almost three o'clock. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I can't see. Look, I'm trying to wear my little contacts. I've had them forever. Now, I don't wear them long enough to try to get used to them. So, that's the reason I'm not in my glasses today y'all it's it's brunch time yeah okay we had a late night last night there's a lot of stuff we're getting done with. why we have a late night why we have a late night why did we i don't know i'm asking you why have a late night oh i had a late right. night you were snoring i was not how do you know you were asleep i wasn't asleep until after a while but you were snoring when you were asleep that was after our late night when I finally went to sleep. Well, I was woken. I can tell you, you were snoring. Mm -hmm. Sound like a burr foot burr. Oh, I know you didn't, babe. I was... All right. <laughs> about bad as you telling me last time, calling me something about being back there with the dinosaurs. Mm, I'm mistaken. I was mistaken. Mm -mm. Y'all see these good old apples I cooked this morning? Let me tell y'all something. These apples, 
outside of our apple tree. These bad boys hit different than them grocery store apples. I'm just here to tell you. Y'all see, I fixed my grandbaby some too. Well. So she can just, we have some little containers and he's just going to, we're going to put his applesauce in there and put it in the freezer. I did him some sweet potatoes a while back. So now I'm doing applesauce. I thought about mixing it with applesauce and doing some green beans too. Get him used to G-Mon's concoctions real early. Well, they didn't used to G-Mon's concoction, but how about his great G-Mon? Yeah, that too. She probably got him eating everything. You know she does. Mmm. Yeah, we appreciate y'all for those of you that were in down in the comments. <laughs> Taking up a dude number one on our last video. Good looking out, people. Sharing some of the comments people have made pertaining to him and all his energy. <laughs> but they was taking up you. They better, they better leave you alone. Good looking out, people. I appreciate y'all having my back. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Free and Thought. Don't want to talk with a mouthful. Hey, guys. I was going to say, you slow to talk with that. No, no it's, that's because I got a lot of stuff in my mouth and I want to talk with your mouthful. That's, in that part. that's, that's not right. Again, appreciate you guys. Good looking out. I really appreciate you taking the time to look out for me. Although I can hold my own when it comes to what every fight is not a fight you have to fight. So you just fight the fights that need fighting. That's the way I look at it. That's my motto in life. You'll live longer that way, guys. I promise you. But nevertheless, to all the ones out, love you guys. Good looking out. Hey, but it's like I said, everybody, you know, of course us doing YouTube, we put ourselves out there and everybody has an opinion. And some folks speak on it. And some folk don't. So, we just have to have tough skin. I'm going to tell you something. I was telling my husband, Miss Sweet Delois, if you're watching, um, she made a comment because I certainly, I appreciate the majority of the com uh, comments. And I, like I've said before, I don't expect everybody to agree with everything we do, everything we say, how we do it. I mean, I don't, but there's a way to, you know, comment respectfully. But this particular sweet lady made a comment about the fact of me being dressed appropriately or inappropriately, you know, when I'm in the kitchen. That's like with the house coat on or, um, and I think she would just prefer that I be totally clothed, which is fine. I so appreciate it her comment. Although my husband and I had talked about it before, and a lot of my things I buy is for loungewear just for Saturdays. And I have on a sundress today. But a lot of the stuff I buy is just for Saturdays. And you guys know the pajamas these days, they, a lot of them look like clothes. And you know, some of them you could wear out and people not really realize that you have on PJs. But even in her comment, if I'm not mistaken, I get the impression that she's an older lady, an older season lady, which reminded me of my mom because my mom, my mom probably wouldn't have wanted me in the kitchen, you know, with my robe on in my house coat. Why are you looking like that? You better be right and she better not be old. I mean, well, I just said that based on the picture, you know, based on her picture that I saw, she just seemed like, um, oh, season. a season, you know, a season lady. So I can appreciate where she was coming from. I didn't get offended. You know, at all, because like I said, my, I had talked to my husband about it. And even though sometimes I have a house coat on or a robe or something in the, the kitchen uh, when I'm cooking, I'm never in there inappropriately. And when I say inappropriately, where I'm, you know, I have on a nightgown or I'm showing cleavage or, you know, nothing like that. So when I talked to my husband about baby's okay if I have this on, he didn't have a problem with it. But I also understand we're the younger generation. And again, my mom would probably be like, girl, if you don't put some clothes on when you're in that kitchen and, and take that house coat off. So I really appreciate it and I respect it, you know, her comment. And I hopefully she thinks that I responded in a respectful manner because I certainly would never want to disrespect any of, um, especially any of our, our older viewers, if you will. And one thing, one thing we can say, guys. In anything in life, as you grow, 
Um, more people come in and more opinions uh, get That's it. true. And, and that is okay. That is okay. I am one that um, believe we can agree to disagree. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be a fight. Everything will have to be a, a, a fight. Not that we had anything like that, but as you begin to grow, because that's a good problem, guys. That's a good problem to have, because without growth, everything dies. Mm -hmm. So the more you have growth, the more people come in, the more people come in, the more opinions you have, the more opinions you have. Um, depending on the maturity of the person, maturity of the person, you, you can have feelings rubbed, mm -hmm. and so it's not what you say, but it's how you say what you say. So we definitely are taking into consideration things that um, are things that are said because we are over a broad spectrum of ages. Younger, older, middle age, um, male, female, and so it's all around. And so in those things that we say, um, listening, um, we're always, we're sticklers for our seniors. We love seniors. Mm -hmm. And so if mama say, you stop it, yes ma'am. That's how we grew up. So in growing up that way, you just learn to um, respect. And that's how I kind of felt when she said it, although we agreed. And that's not to say sometimes you may still see me in the kitchen with a robe on. But when she said it, you know, I felt like it was a correction from one of my elders. And please forgive me, like my husband said, if she's not older, I'm 52. So based on her picture, it just seemed like, you, you know, tell your age. she was a, I don't care. I, I'm, a, I'm blessed to be 52 and still alive. So amongst the land of the living. I know some ladies don't like to tell their age, but I don't mind. But like I said, when I saw her picture, I just... And then, then it could be a situation where it's not her picture, it could be her mom's picture. I don't know, but when the comment was made, that's that's how I, you know, I kind of felt. And then I think some... I can't remember the other lady who made a comment as well. But, you know, do I just feel like these are Do y'all tell y'all age? Some of them do, some of them don't. All y'all like cougars. And everybody... <laughs> Mm -hmm. Speaking of cougars, baby, there's some cougars out there. They say you cute. Who's them? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm married. I've been married a long time and happy. Y'all see my breakfast? Oh my goodness. This happy. They say you was cute, honey. This is my breakfast. <laughs> and this is happy. They say they might give you breakfast that ain't on a styrofoam plate. They give you some china, baby. <laughs> On the real plate, baby. Stop. I'm talking about your breakfast. I got my breakfast. <laughs> You're so good. silly. But, babe, I know you handsome. I just I be like, I agree. He is, honey. Your handsome self. Mm -hmm. So I'll stick my wife. Listen, and, and guys, nobody has the end all say all. When it comes to a relationship, longevity in a relationship, there's a lot of sign, uh, signposts that you can follow that would um, enhance your chances of a long relationship. But I, I do. I truly thank God for my wife. And maybe one time we could just talk about our, our love story um, starting out in the years we have together. But it has, for me, just while we're here, I'm going to say it has been a joy. It has really been a joy. I'm saying the ups, mm -hmm. the downs, mm -hmm. and I can tell you the, the, the intense fellowship that we have. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, instead of hugging her waist, her neck. We already know sometimes I'm a cactus. We, that's already been established. Who told you it was a cactus? You did on the video when we was coming home and the people thought it was so funny. You'd be surprised all the little cactus emojis I got at the end of their comment. Why would I call you a cactus, baby? Because you was being mean to me. You are, you are a fluffy bunny. Who in the world would call you a cactus? <laughs> you did. What was my state of mind at the you time? You mad. You probably was then in I that mean, case. I mean, you mad. Okay, it probably was at that case. So, you know, I ain't mad now, so you're a bunny. I'm a, a fluffy bunny. bunny. I'm a fluffy bunny. <laughs> fluffy bunny. A fluffy bunny. I be, I be your fluffy bunny. Okay. So maybe guys, we, we talk, because again, again, in life, all of it goes around. If you're going to have the, the TV relationship, guys, if, TV if, really? if you guys ever watch like these, um, these TV relationships and everything is perfect, mm. everything is just perfect, you wake up in the morning and how are you doing? I slept so well last night. And that's not true in life. Mm -mm. 
You wake up in the morning, you say, like, I'm trying to get something in your breast thing. What? Mm -mm, your breast your teeth, honey. It's your doggone breath. I was just about to talk about, don't talk about me, girl. I'm trying to be nice. Well, that's the real life. Well, you brush your teeth at night then. I do. Well, brush them twice. I'm talking about no teeth in the breast. Girl, I'm brushing my teeth. <laughs> Talk about me, girl. I'm saying you you finna lose me. You finna okay, lose babe, me. Okay, babe, I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. Oh, I'm gonna be no cat. I'm girl, y'all y'all, I'm trying my best. <laughs> oh, you a crazy. It's okay, babe. Your breath's supposed to stink in the morning when no, you No, it don't. Out. If you brush your teeth properly, it don't stink it in the morning. It still stink. Did my breath is smell in the morning? For real, babe. Tell me the truth. You want me to tell you? You want me to tell you tell on me camera? Yeah, tell me. You a lie? You a lie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Y'all see, it is never a dull moment with this dude right here. And y'all see, for those of you that watched that video, what was I talking about? I think when I was showing y'all the paint. When I say, he at work, he ain't here, listen. Listen. What? Well, why do I always got to be quiet? Don't leave me quiet when See I'm there. not here with you. See there? When I did it on the other video, it was quiet. It, it was peaceful, serene. But you was only by yourself. It was quiet when I was there. <laughs> I was by myself and it was quiet. Now I come here with you, all you hear is just your mouth running. But it seemed like you're trying to goat me into an argument. And I'm not going to let the devil oh, use you, 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 Donna. You're not going to let him use me? Okay. <laughs> he don't use me. Oh, Lord, you are funny. But y'all see... Y'all can tell when it's quiet at home, so going forward, if it's quiet, bless that means she ain't with me. Bless it quietness, it, that means not here. Well, that means I'm quiet where I'm at. It's quiet where I'm at, too, people. Uh, it, well, how you know, Tommy, you ain't there? You I, act like you little God. <laughs> what is little God? You know everything, but not True. everything are God. No, you know a lot, but not much as He know. That's what you act like? How you know if it ain't quiet with me? I don't have my radio on when I'm in my truck. I don't have my radio on. Nobody's in the truck with me. I ain't talking to myself. What do you think I'm? What? You ain't? Down the, uh, ooh. Okay. You can talk to yourself. Just don't answer. Just don't answer. Well, sometimes you got to answer. I was going to say, because I think I heard you answer just answer. Well, you have to, Donna, because I got the equation. I'm just okay. thinking out loud. Okay. That's why your brain don't you. You don't answer because your brain ain't telling you nothing. Whatever. Do y'all answer? Do y'all answer when you figuring out something and the answer come to you like a eureka moment? Do you do you say, "Oh, I got that"? Well, then you just like me. Well, it's a difference in that, and then be walking around having a full fledged conversation with yourself. Who be having a full fledged conversation? Are you down there? Don't start lying to these people. <laughs> don't start lying to these people, down Now I'm telling okay, you. Okay, man. Okay. We gonna, we gonna stay happy because I don't want to be a cactus no more. I want to stay your fluffy bunny, okay? Yeah, I will spray some cactus spray. <laughs> What's cactus spray? You mean something like for a skunk? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I like some Roundup. <laughs> Roundup will kill it. Mm -mm. Not a cactus. It'll wound it. It won't kill it. Oh. Also, they got to be walking around wounded. Yeah, you until, until you, the cactus too is cool. Well, baby, I love being married to you too. Mm -hmm. And if I wasn't married to you, I'd find you and marry you. Oh, that's so sweet. I found you, didn't I? You did. I married you, didn't I? Mm -hmm. So if I didn't, I would have found you and married you. You did. There you go. My little Robert came in I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> I'm going to tell all, matter of fact, while we're here, I'm going to tell all y'all something. <laughs> Y'all gotta get that junk together. It's okay. It's okay, honey. Well, anyway, thank y'all guys for joining me. Oh, he's look at him in the video. No, I'm just saying. Thank you guys. Y'all, he being nosy, looking out the one of the one. So been, you so You so got doggone nosy. This is the been. new look. This is the live and in color community watch, neighborhood watch dog. This one right here. I'm just looking, just looking to see. But no, I, again, I really mean it when I say, guys, really, I, I look forward one day of talking. 
about our journey through life and to where we are now. Because it has really been a journey. It has been a journey. It has been some, I mean, it has been a really, really, really interesting roller coaster ride. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I don't know, for some reason, I just want to say this. And I, I, I'm, you know, real serious at what I say here. But, Many times, this younger generation will see all of the things that older married couples have accumulated, and they try to get it all in one swoop. And so that is to say, all of these rental companies renting out all of this stuff because you try to get it all at once and you're in debt forever. So I'm saying all that to say this. A relationship takes work, and many people look at a relationship and don't want to put the work in. It's worth fighting for, guys. It's worth fighting through. Because to get someone else, now I'm not saying, you know, I don't want to go walk real carefully around here. You're in an abusive situation, get yourself away from there. Now I'm not saying end it, but get to a safe place to where you can work out or get therapy or whatever it needs. But you're going to have to put some time in on this thing, guys. It's worth it. It's beneficial. So don't let a temporary moment of satisfaction cost you a lifetime of pain. It may be temporary. You may smile for the moment doing what you do. But look at the repercussions of what you did and what's going to happen next. So, guys, it takes work. A lot of work. Just as you go past somebody's yard and see a beautiful yard, Somebody got out there and worked in the yard, or somebody paid for your yard to be worked on. So I'm just saying, guys, hold hands and work your way through it. It's worth it. It's worth it. Now you got to start all over, and someone have to learn you, and you have to learn them too. So you ask yourself, is it worth it? And that's just my two cents. I don't want to talk to them no more. Go, on, go. On. <laughs> Fire away, kids. Fire, 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 fire. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> that ain't nice. Oh. Shake some. It may be somebody new watching. They thought you were so serious. And now you going you you now you acting like that. Shake some. Just shake some. Just shake some. Just just shake some. Just shake some. Just they don't even know what shake something means. You, you should hurt their feelings. You should have been here longer. Ask all of the family. They know what it means. If you don't know what we just did, what just happened, you ain't a part of the family. Jesus. Just shake something. Just shake something. Just, just, just. Thank you guys so much for watching. How many y'all out there rocking with us? Uh, Debbie, you caught yourself rocking with us. Just shake something. Just, just. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. Hit the nosey. Bye.